Number 7 then from the 2014 Advanced Hire, Proof by Induction with Matrices. Now, the two important things to remember with Proof by Induction is that if you have a series of statements, then you're required to prove it's true at the first of them, and then prove that the link connecting two of them holds. That is, if it's true at a particular one, then it'll be true for the following one. Then you can use that link to start to hit the first one and pop you all the way through. So the first part is prove it's true, true at the start. What happens at n equals 1? Well, if n equals 1, then from this part here I have on the left hand side, you could call it, a to the power 1 would just be this thing to the power 1, which I could just leave the way it is. And on the right hand side, a to the power 1 using this statement would be that I'd have 2 to the power 1, 0, 1, and a times 2 to the power 1, minus 1. Well, that is just 2, 0, 1. 2 take away 1 is 1, a. So that means it's true to the start. Left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, which means, and this is the important bit, it's true for n equals 1. That's this part of it. Now I've got to show that this link holds that if it is true for one statement, it will be true for the following one. So you make an assumption. Let's say, assume that it's going to be true for n equals k. Well, if it's true for n equals k, that means that a to the k should equal 2 to the k, 0, a times 2 to the k minus 1, 1. But that's the inductive hypothesis, assuming that's true. I could call that 1, so I can refer to it, because during the proof by induction, you have to call that into play. Assume it's true for n equals k. Now consider the next term. Consider n equals k plus 1. What would happen there? If you had a to the k plus 1, well, that would just be a to the k multiplied by an a. So that would just be a to a0, 1, multiplied by a to the k, which you're assuming is this thing. 2 to the k, a to the 2 to the k minus 1, 0, 1. And I'll say here, using 1, calling that into play. Carry out that matrix multiplication. So I've got 2 times that, and I could put that in straight away as 2 times k plus 1, 2 to the power k plus 1, but I'll not. I'll say 2 to the 2k plus 0, just so it's a Boil the surprise at the end, plus 2 times that, 2a times 2 to the k minus 1, plus an a, and that's just a 0 plus a 0, and a 0 plus a 1. So that would be, now, what I'm aiming for is the same result, only with n replaced by k plus 1. Well, 2 times 2 to the k is another power of 2, so that's 2 to the k plus 1, those terms are okay. I'll just do this bit of algebra at the side here. 2a times that will be a times 2 to the k plus 1 minus 2a plus an a. That's a times 2 to the k plus 1 minus an a. Taking the a out, I've got a times 2 to the k plus 1 minus 1. And I'll finish that by saying that is the required result. That's the result I was looking for. I don't bother writing the L if the T uses the same stroke. I was wanting to get the same expression with K plus 1s in it if I followed through the operation to the next step, which means I've got the link. The link's true. If it's true, remember this is a conditional one, if it's true at K, then it will be true at K plus 1. And the important thing is, you have to show it's true somewhere. It was true at 1, so it's true at 2 and so on. But now you have to make that big statement, so I'll say this. Final bit. True for n equals k meant it was, in fact, true for n equals k plus 1. That's what you just proved. But since it was true for n equals 1, that means it's going to be true, or maybe I should put in the wee words, that means by induction, just in case, 
by induction, it's true for all n greater than or equal to 1.